What's up, two of you? It is Fox from F6, and do not go anywhere because today's subject is going to be about buying your first gun. If you're a boomer and you own a thousand guns and you're watching this, still stay tuned because I'm going to give you some information that you may want to pass along. So let's jump into buying your first gun. What should your first firearm be? Let's go. So you're a little late to the party and you found out that it's a great idea that if you're an American, you should use your second amendment right and go buy yourself a firearm. And uh, it's a little intimidating, whether you're new to this or you've been in the game for a little while and uh, maybe you're just wanting to buy a new gun or something different, I still think this is going to apply to you because one, um, ammo prices, to the ability and time to go shoot, and three, you need to be able to do more with your firearms other than just shoot still, whether that's provide food, be home defense, or uh, start practicing to get better with other platforms. So with all that being said, I'm gonna share with you my first firearm and the first contender that I think you should look to, uh, whether you're a new gun owner or advanced into owning guns, why maybe you should also suggest this to other people as well. Well, and of course your next question, or if you're new to guns, is going to be pricing and it's expensive. So if you're balling on a budget, let's just um, do this right here. That's pretty much the universal language. I think everybody recognizes that sound. A shotgun, preferably a 12 gauge. If you are going to buy your first gun, I think you should go with a shotgun and you can do this for very minimal dollars but most importantly you need to go with a pump shotgun do not go with an automatic shotgun for your first shotgun unless it is some form of notable brand but this is a lot to handle it's kind of heavy and uh, it gives you a big bang but also in this platform you get a lot of bang for your buck and and the reason why I think a 12 gauge shotgun is perfect for your first firearm is because it has multiple uses. You can shoot birds with it with birdshot, you can get slugs, you can get buckshot. There are several different rounds for this gun. The other thing about a shotgun is you can go to literally Walmart and get ammunition. So everywhere, shell, everywhere sells at minimum birdshot, which is awesome because if ammo is cheap, then that means you are going to be more prone to shoot this gun. But really, um, this was my first shotgun, and for all of those gear elitist comments that I'm told, this is actually a Hawk Model 982, made a very high quality clone of the Remington 870. This gun has been very, very good. I've had this gun close to 17 years, and uh, I was balling on a budget, I was in college, and this was the first shotgun I ever bought. All the other shotguns were either handed down to me or given to me by family, but I have a very cheap but reliable flashlight on it. This was probably a $25, $30 flashlight, and uh, really, um, if you heard thump in the night, uh, for one, you can let them know you know they're there, but two, it really has all the stuff to uh, be home protection right out of the box. Another reason the shotgun makes a really good first gun option is because more than likely you have someone in your circle, whether it be a family member, a teammate, a buddy, a cousin, whatever it is, they know how to operate one of these. This is usually the first gun a child is given when they start youth hunting. It's usually a uh, pump 20 gauge or um, a 410 or something along the lines that is very similar to this platform. This kind of goes into why I don't recommend the AR-15 as your first firearm because one, you're probably not going to have the kind of money you need to have to buy a high quality AR-15. Now obviously a low quality AR-15 is better than a no quality AR-15, but I'm still going to go back to a shotgun. But there is one downside to this shotgun is if you have a more feminine uh, partner that lives in the house that may have to use this for say home defense or putting food on the table this is a little intimidating it's uh, kind of heavy and uh, you know with slugs in this uh, most females are probably going to be intimidated by a couple of the slugs throwing around on their shoulder so I didn't forget you, there is also another option that I would recommend for your very first firearm. Go ahead and drop it in the comments if you know what I'm gonna say next. Don't watch it, 
put the comment and give me a like while you're doing that. But what is the number two most recommended firearm for a new gun owner? For those of you in the comments that guessed a 22, a 1022 to be exact, you are correct. But um, if you are new to firearms or even advanced to firearms and you need to recommend to someone what their very first gun should be, the Ruger 1022 or really any 1022 or 22 would be a perfect recommendation. This is what I grew up on, not this particular gun, but uh, this platform, the Ruger 1022, has about a million rounds for me and my brothers. And this gun kind of goes back to uh, all the other things the shotgun can be used for. You can still take small game, whether it be rabbit or bird or squirrel or something in a survival situation, it's very lightweight. This particular model can uh, break down and really go into a backpack and store. So they're super light. You can get uh, several different mag variations for them. But really most importantly is ammo is cheap. I have a certain acquaintance that is more on the woke society but still wanted to be armed and uh, have firearms in their life. And this was the exact gun that I introduced them to. And before you knew it, they were shooting my MP5s, my AR-15s, and all of the good stuff, honestly, just a couple of days later. So 1022 and 12 gauge pump shotgun. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you learned something, please do let me know. But also do tell me about your first guns. What, uh, what was your first rifle or pistol or your first firearm? Was it a hunting home defense gun? Was it a 1022? Do let me know in the comments what your first rifles were and don't forget to like and subscribe. I am working on getting merch available. Probably just start small with some stickers and things like that. Let me know if that's something you guys would be into as well. With all that being said, this is Fox and thanks for watching today's video.